I love y'all, man. Duke's the best fans in America. And every time I play, I represent Duke, baby. Um, it's just a great opportunity to come out here and uh, play uh, with the top talent, I guess the top talent in the world. Um, so uh, I was very excited at USA Basketball. Um, got us all together and uh, kept us in shape and uh, got us ready to play against this team. And uh, fortunately for us, we came out with a victory. Austin, it looked like you had some trouble getting going in the beginning. Um, it looked like uh, some problems with the officials and things like that. Was it just nerves or was it, I mean, just uh, playing a little bit too loose to start the game? <clears throat> no, I had nothing to do with the officials. I was just messing with them. Um, as far as uh, me just starting off slow, it's just um, it's hard to get a rhythm. Um, you know, there's a lot of us who you know, haven't played with each other. Um, I thought we actually did really good. Um, actually, did great for not ever playing with each other, um, for having two days to get with each other. And uh, you know, I started out a little bit slow, and then I knocked down a couple of shots. And after that, I just kept going. And uh, my teammates did a good job finding me. And um, I just try to get out in the open court because um, you know Anthony and. Uh, McAdoo and all those guys are working so hard getting the rebounds. Um, you know, we're just sitting right there waiting, so uh, it worked out. At halftime, I saw you talking to uh, Blazers point guard Andre Miller. Uh, can you maybe give us some insight on what he told you? Any advice? Um, he just told me he said he's a big fan of mine, which is an honor because um, you know I've looked up to those guys and him. Uh, you know, watching him last night, he was balling. You know, for the Blazers. Um, so just watching him last night, for him to say it to me, uh, you know, just means you know some of my hard work is paying off and. He just told me to always stay humble and just, just keep staying hungry because you know uh, some kids get to this opportunity and they uh, think they've already made it and they just slide right off. So I'm just determined not to be that person and I'm just gonna keep staying humble and try to get to where he is. Austin, we got a preview of the possible starting backcourt for Duke next year. Talk about playing with Quinn. He's Quinn's a man. Um, it's, it's real easy playing with Quinn. Um, he makes everything easy for you. Um, He's so uh, unselfish. It's a uh, we first before me first with him, and that's what makes him and all of his teams always win. You always see whatever team he plays for, they're always a winning team. And it's not because he's on uh, a good team or uh, anything like that. It's because he's on there. And uh, going to Duke with one of the greatest coaches and the people there with Quinn, um, I think we're going to have a good shot next year, and I'm very excited about playing with Quinn. Kevin, how competitive is this group as a whole? I mean, you work with these guys for a long time. What's their DNA of competitiveness? Uh, wow, that's a great question. Uh, they're very competitive. I think if this was a tentative win contest, uh, I think they would want to, you know, try to win that too. Um, I think they were really successful um, for the past uh, last couple of years. Last two years, we won the FIBA Americas and down in uh, Argentina at U16, and then we went to Germany and run the World Championship in uh, at U17. And uh, we've only lost uh, one game, uh, and that was to a U19 team in a, in a friendly game over in Lithuania. And they were very upset with that because they really felt that we should have won that game as well. So I think any time that we have a shooting contest or a defensive contest, these guys want to win. And because they want to win in every competition, I think that's what their DNA, that's what makes them the great players that they are and collectively makes them the great team uh, playing for USA Basketball every time that they have the opportunity. Well, it's the same thing. How competitive do you think this week was amongst yourselves? Um, I think that's the reason we won, um, and I think that's why we got prepared. Um, you know, a lot of players would have came here and uh, only had two days would have thought, you know, there's no shot we could get together, but we were so competitive. I mean, right from the get-go, Coach Sutton had us competing with each other, and uh, it was amazing how unselfish everybody is. You know, every, you know individually, uh, wherever we're from, you know, we're the man, or uh, we do everything we want to. Um, so it was kind of like a subtraction through addition. You know, we all gave up something to uh, advance better as a team, and that's what we did here. Um, we just competed and uh, we all uh, just did a, uh, unselfish things to make us better.